All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. We are about four days away from the prejudging of men's open bodybuilding at the 2020 Mr. Olympia in Orlando, Florida. And I've got several Olympia updates for you guys today. The first update, let's talk about Dennis James and Big Rami. So Dennis James and Big Rami right now are traveling to Orlando. Um, so they are about to arrive at the Olympia together, but more importantly, on a recent episode of Fuad Abiyad's podcast, he was interviewing Dennis James, and Dennis gives us a little bit of a sneak peek of how Rami is looking. So Dennis says um, that this picture of Rami was taken a couple days ago, and it's a side chest shot of Rami, um, and in that clip, Dennis was comparing Rami and Hunter Labrada, um, just showing off the separation that Rami has from the side, specifically in his legs, um, the separation and detail that you can see in Rami's glutes. It's kind of hard to see the picture very clearly because there's a glare there and it's not completely focused on the camera. But this is right now the closest thing we have to a real full physique update of Big Rami. Now we might see something um, as we get a little bit closer to the show, maybe like a day out, Rami will post something to, uh, um, to kind of get everybody talking, shock the bodybuilding world like he usually does. But I had several of you guys sending me screenshots of this clip from Fuad's podcast. Um, and it is cool to see a little bit of Rami, even though it's a very it's a very big stretch to try to judge anything off of this photo because it's a clip from a podcast and a picture of an iPhone shot on a webcam. Um, there's a glare on it. It's hard to see. Um, but that is kind of the latest update that you have of Big Rami. Now, I wanted to talk also about Rolly Winkler. So as you guys know, Rolly Winkler is officially out of the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Now, he actually tagged me in this post um, and several other bodybuilding news media organizations, whatever you want to call them. So Rolly addressed it himself, and he says, Important announcement. It is with an extremely sad and heavy heart that I want to announce to all my fans, my supporters, and everyone else in the industry that I will not, unfortunately, not be competing at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. I have tested positive for COVID-19 while in Turkey en route to the U.S. We have tried everything we possibly could, but being COVID-19 positive, there's really nothing else we can do. In the meantime, some COVID-19 symptoms have presented, and my focus is now on a full recovery. Even though the news already broke out, it is only fair that I inform you all personally of this unexpected turn of event. My coach, Ahmad Oscar, and I were eager to show you something entirely different, an entirely different physique this year, something you've never seen before. Nevertheless, rest assured that while I'm in recovery, we will be working on our game plan for 2021. Thank you to the entire Mr. Olympia LLC and IFBB Pro League team who are ready to help us every step of the way, and to my sponsors and everyone else for their support. See you all in 2021, guys. Peace out. So the key thing that stands out to me here is that he says his coach and him were eager to present an entirely different physique this year, something that we've never seen before. And again, I got to go back to that physique update that he posted last week. I'm inclined to believe that he is not bullshitting here, for lack of a better term. I think that Roley really was planning on bringing a different version of his physique, a leaner, a little bit downsized, but more ripped version of Roley. Roley has played the size game for years. He's been this crazy round, freaky bodybuilder, but for the first time, it looked like he was going to come in a little smaller, sacrifice some size for better conditioning, and that was going to be something different for Roley, um, and I was kind of excited to see it. I mean, Roley did look really ripped in that physique update that we saw from him last week, and Hadi Chupin actually responded to the Roley Winkler news on his page, and Hadi says, very sad news and a dark day for me, brother Roley. Um, no one else can feel your pain as much as I do. We are almost in the same situation, but for different reasons, except I can still fight for my chance. I know you brought and prepared a totally different package, but relax and enjoy your time, brother. Never mind. Speedy recovery. Hope to see you all in 2021. So still no official confirmation from Heidi Chupin as to whether or not he a has his visa and B, if he does have the visa, like many news outlets are reporting, he still has to get over here to the United States in time for prejudging Friday. So Hadi has not officially confirmed that his visa got approved. A lot of people are confirming that right now. But even if it is, we know for a fact he's not here yet. So that's really the main thing that needs to get done. Hopefully he is able to get here. I really want to see Hadi on that stage. Um, in the Instagram page, Buys and Tries, I wanted to show you guys this post because it really puts into perspective how many bodybuilders we've missed out on seeing at this year's Mr. Olympia that are technically qualified. There's eight right now. You've got James Hollingshead, 
Sean Roden for obvious reasons, but he was qualified because he's a former Mr. Olympia winner, and a Mr. Olympia winner is qualified for life, never needs to requalify. Nathan Diasha. now we have the news of Rolly Winkler. Flex Lewis had to pull out because of an injury. Raphael Brandau, qualified, had to pull out because of COVID-19, similar to Rolly. Um, and then, of course, he had Cedric McMillan. He had to pull out because he also had an injury. And then recently, made El Man a.k.a. Jose Maria. Um, he was a classic physique competitor that we just talked about, the crazy potential that he has. He just announced on his page that his visa got denied and he cannot tra travel to Orlando um, because of that visa getting denied. So this is how very real that situation is for Hadi Chupin. Visa gets denied and you lose out on the biggest opportunity of your career if you're a bodybuilder or a classic physique competitor. It can just be taken away like that, even if you are qualified for the show. So it goes to show you, we might see a ninth name added to this list um, over the next couple of days if Hadi Chupin does not get the visa or for whatever reason is not able to get here in time for the Olympia. But I thought this post was really kind of sobering because you, you can really see a lot of these guys, these are top 10, top six caliber guys, Cedric, Rowley, Sean Roden. Again, his situation's entirely different. Flex Lewis. I mean, these are guys that could have entirely changed the finals at the Olympia, the top six. I mean, this could have been half your top six right there. Um, Rolly, Cedric, Flex, Sean, all those guys could have been top six. But speaking of top six Olympians, William Bonak posted a physique update. Presumably, this is extremely recent because he says this was taken right before he is leaving for Orlando um, with his training partner here, I guess. Um, so this is the most recent physique update that we've seen of William Bonac. We haven't seen a whole lot of updates from him over the course of his Olympia prep. Um, so he does look good here. I mean, it's hard to tell. You can really only see his arms. Um, but like I said, we haven't really seen many physique updates from Bonac. And maybe that's why Bonac hasn't been in the conversation as much. I mean, keep in mind, Bonac was the runner-up at last year's Mr. Olympia. So naturally, he's a favorite going into this show to be in the top six, to be in the top three, to be right in that mix with the first call out. Um, but we just haven't seen that much of him. And in this physique update, you can kind of see that he looks like he's in good shape. He's vascular, but he's full and he's round. Um, he's got his trademark, uh, you know, crazy round delts. To be honest, uh, my prediction is that he's going to drop a couple placings this year. I have him around fourth or fifth, um, depending on how Rami looks. I think Phil is going to knock Bonac back a couple places. Um, Brandon obviously beat him last year. Rami, I think there's a potential now that he might place higher than Bonac. But who knows? With with Hottie and Rolly not there, I mean, that might open up half the top six again. I mean, it's it's going to be a really interesting show because we've had so many curveballs um, thrown at the men's open Olympia lineup. Now, the final story that I have for you guys today, some of you guys were doing some detective work looking at Chris Bumstead's girlfriend's page, Courtney King. She posted a recent physique update, kind of, <laughs> with Chris Bumstead in Orlando, Florida. Um, and people were noticing, if you compare Chris's face and his arms in this picture, this recent picture that we know for a fact is recent, to the last update that Chris posted on his page, you can see, let's put them side by side here, you can see a noticeable difference in the size of Chris Bumstead and how he's looking, um, kind of taken at a similar angle. He looks a lot fuller and a lot rounder in the picture that he posted just uh, five days ago, or well, almost a week ago, December 7th, he posted this picture. But again, adding f further fuel to the fire that Bumstead has been posting old pictures, maybe throwing people off the track, th throwing people off the scent of how he's really looking and leading people to believe that maybe he was behind Breon, giving people something to talk about from a conditioning standpoint. But I think... Maybe Chris has been posting these older updates to throw some people off, and we might see something entirely different from him on the Olympia stage this year than we've seen on his Instagram page. In any case, I'm excited for classic men's open, even men's physique. I can't wait to watch it. Four days away now. Make sure you guys hit subscribe for all Olympia coverage and updates. I will keep you guys posted. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.